Okay, it's time to do our hands-on challenge for the Schedule Apex. So this is the challenge, create an Apex class that uses Scheduled Apex to update lead records. So create an Apex class called Daily Lead Processor. So I'm going to copy that, go to my playground, Go to my developer console. Close the previous ones from the previous trail. File new Apex class. Daily lead processor. That's the class name. And then the execute method must find the first 200 leads with a blank lead source and then update them with the lead source value of Dreamforce. All right, so let's copy the schedulable sample code from this trail, which is this one. I'm going to copy that. Go down again to our challenge. Go to our developer console. So daily lead processor. I'm going to paste and work from the shell. So it's going to be daily lead processor it implements a schedulable interface so global void execute schedulable and then list of lead we're going to change this let's call this leads and then select id from leads from lead where lead source equals blank or no okay then limit 200 we just want 200 of that so I'm gonna take this out so let's actually check what's the problem so task utils well we don't have this right so what we want is to actually update this so I'm gonna loop through the through the list here so we have a list from here and then we're gonna loop for lead right L and leads we're going to change l dot lead lead source equals dream force is it dream force let me take a look um it's called Dreamforce with a lower case there. Dreamforce, like that. So I'm going to make a new update leads. Okay. Another list, same thing, lead leads to update equals new list of lead instantiate that so now i want to add this list to update which is that dot add l okay and this is outside the loop here this is that and now i'm going just i'm just going to update houston we have a problem variable does not exist list to update or lead to update my bad and then we update it in one go leads to update save that 
So this is the schedulable class. It's called daily lead processor, implement schedulable, and then this is the execute method from this to this. Basically, we do a circle from lead, select ID from lead, where lead source equals now or blank, limit just 200, right? And then we loop through it. We put uh, each individual record to a new list, and then we, we update the leads to update here. And that's pretty much it. So if I flip back to the trail, okay, so execute must find the first 200 leads with a blank lead source field and update them with the lead source value of Dreamforce. Okay, so next is the daily processor test. Okay. Okay, I'm going to copy this, head back to my developer console, new Apex class, daily lead processor test. So I'm going to go back to our trail and copy the test code sample. So I'm going to copy that. So daily lead processor test makes basically I'm going to paste that and change this to daily lead processor test. Okay, so we have a cron expression. Let's skip that for now. This is the test schedule job. So basically, I just want to create 200 leads. Okay, so list of lead, leads, right? List of lead. And then I'm not gonna need a date here. So zero to 200 now so it's a lead and i'm going to name it l new lead and let's let's take a look at a lead object on here if i go to my setup and i go to my lead object oops what happens there dude setup so fields and relationship um, I think organization is required right for a lead let me see or company company is required probably so I'm gonna do company and then the name of the lead probably first name last name right so I'm gonna do first name first plus I last name equals last name and then company equals the ink okay and then leads um, leads dot add L insert leads so we basically are creating 200 leads in here I just want to make sure my leads um, required fields are filled in because we don't use the leads so much in our organization so if I go to leads here just want to make sure what's required to create a lead. So I'm going to make new. Just want to check the required field. So the name, last name, and company, right? I'm right. Yeah, company, and then we're good to go. So we have company in there. So insert lead. So we have our test data. Now, get the IDs of the opportunities we just inserted we do not need this we just need the leads for now 
So I'm going to take this out. We don't need the map. I'm going to take that out. So task start task um, and then remind of the owners. This is daily lead processor, right? And then verify the scheduled job has not run yet. Oh, this is to actually verify it. Well, we don't need that. I'm just going to take this out. Um, I'm going to take this out, make this simpler. So we just scheduled it. We just scheduled there. And then task exists before job run. I'm going to take this out too, make it simpler. Now that the scheduled job has executed, check that our task what was created. Check that we have we have 200 leads with Dreamforce. Okay. Select uh, ID from leads where Um, lead source equals lead source equals what dream force and first or last name or company equals because this is our test company right the ink Means the test is good, and then we want 200. Um, yeah, wait, 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 wait. What just happened here? Oh, here. I want the size equals lt dot size. So not op id dot size. I want. Um, I want the size. Well, this is just 200, right? We know it's 200. It's supposed to be 200. And then, yeah. So LT equals select ID. This is not LT, this is leads. So I'm going to make this a list. Check leads. Uh, this is lead, right? Lead. Check leads equals um, new list of lead. Instantiate that. And then on a check leads. Yeah. Check leads, which is this guy here. So checklist.size has to be equals 200, okay? Or we can just say leads were not created. Okay, line 30. Illegal assignment from list to lead. Oh, my bad, it's leads, list of lead. Check leads, check 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 okay that should be good now let's see now invalid type schema leads 31 okay this is actually lead <laughs> all right select ID from lead not leads where lead source equals Dreamforce and company the ink and very good so what's what's going on here Basically, we create 200 leads, right? We create 200 leads, and then we run the task, and then we schedule the daily lead processor, right? And then we, we assert that with checking if the, start, if the lead source now has been changed from blank, 
which we not define here to Dreamforce because after this daily lead processor is has run the lead source should change to see to Dreamforce right so let's go back to the trail and see what we need to do next so in the task class insert 200 schedule the daily class to run on a test and that lead or records updated correctly it has to go and then run the test I think we're done here so I'm gonna run the test and we should be good to go we should be able to see or to say bada bing bada boom but let's see oh I think we have a green bing boom bam boom so I'm gonna go sort my percent and daily lead processor all green we have a winner okay so this is the daily read processor it's pretty straightforward and this is the test which i have discussed with you and now let's gather the 500 points what are you boom bada bing bada boom so next we will check the monitor async apex i'll see you on the next video hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing Bada boom.